Good morning, guys. Welcome to a vlog week day four. It is Thursday. This week is flying by. Um, I am not having the best morning so far. It's almost 10 a.m. And we'll talk in a minute <laughs> about what happened this morning. Um, I'm just like so all over the place. So you guys are gonna get like a very, very real day in the life today. It's funny because with vlog week, like I'm filming every day. So even on a day like today, let's say where I wake up and like nothing's going right, where normally I just wouldn't pick up the camera. Um, I'm picking up the camera and I'm gonna show you guys what a not so great day in the life looks like, but maybe we'll turn it around. I really hope we'll turn it around. That's the goal. You guys are probably like, what are you talking about? Um, so all, all will be revealed very soon. So the reason I'm rushing right now is because I have a call that starts in a couple of minutes. What time is it? <gasps> it's call starting now. Okay, my call, I'll just tell you really quick. My call is with Jill, uh, my personal, we're gonna do this later. Let's just get into it. We're gonna chat um, and then we are going to turn everything around today because it's a beautiful day. I wanna have a good day. Um, but I gotta be real with you guys and tell you guys like, I don't know. I just, the thing I love about vlog, love hate <laughs> about vlog week is like this morning I got up to, like I got off on just such the wrong foot and normally I wouldn't, pick up the camera and like vlog when I'm like that. But I'm like, it's vlog week, you have to vlog. And the good side of that is you guys get to see all of the ups and downs. Like yesterday was such an amazing, peaceful, happy, stress-free, like wonderful day. And then today I wake up on like totally the wrong side of the bed. And I'm sure these kinds of things happen to you too. And sometimes when you have such a good day and then the next day starts out not so great it can feel even worse because the day before was so wonderful so you're probably like what the heck are you talking about let's just run through my morning together okay so um last night was so great i went back and slept at my boyfriend's house because i had parked my car there um i parked it there because they were cleaning my garage and i had to get my car out so i had parked my car there and all day that my car was parked there, I had this weird feeling. Like I, I don't, I'm a new car owner, I'm a new driver. Um, and it just felt weird to have my car just like parked on the side of the road, pretty much in downtown Montreal um, for like a day and like overnight. Usually I just leave it overnight or just during the day, but I don't leave it for that long. Like it was there for like, I think it ended up being there for more than 24 hours because I actually parked it there Tuesday night. Um, so I slept there and I woke up and I woke up at six this morning feeling totally great. And this is a common theme with me. I do this all the time that I wake up early. I wake up feeling great, feeling ready for the day, but I have nothing to do because I was at his house. I didn't have my laptop. I like didn't have a book that I wanted to read. And I was like, eh, I have nothing to do. I'll just go back to bed. Um, and I thought, I knew I had to move my car by a certain time. I thought that time was 9 a.m. I had 9 a.m. in my head for some reason. So around 8.30, we go out. Um, like I just kept sleeping and like it wasn't even good sleep. Like I should have just stayed awake. And anyways, like I was really beating myself up about this, but we don't need to do that anymore. Um, go to my car and there's a ticket on my car because it wasn't 9 a.m. It was 7.30 and Anyways, I, I had my camera with me, so I wanted to like, since I knew I was gonna film anyways and tell you guys the story, like this is like the ultimate realness of what happened when I got that ticket. This is what a parking ticket will do to me on a bad day. Some days I get it. Well, it only happened once that I got it and I laughed about it. But today, this is what a parking ticket does to me. Oh my fucking god. I was so distracted by the parking ticket that I didn't even realize this happened while I was parked here. And I can't like I can't believe I have a crack on my windshield. It's a big crack too. Like I cannot believe it. I am 
devastated right now. And I know it's just a car, but it's my first car. Anyway, I know like these are just silly. I'm saying this and a Bentley truck just drives by me. Maybe that's a sign that everything's gonna be okay. Or maybe that's a sign of who knows what. I can't I can't believe there is a crack on my windshield. That means that something fell on it or someone threw something at it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera away because I can't keep talking about this. So yeah, I was crying, I was so upset. Even like after those clips, I started sobbing in my car because the parking ticket and then the windshield, like I was just like, are you kidding me? And in the moment, like I'm sobbing and I think it brought up two things for me. The first is financial anxiety, like feeling like I can't afford to have this ticket. I can't afford to get this fixed. Like even if insurance covers it, like I'm just like, I can't afford this. Like, ugh, like it's like a money thing, right? It's like, you know, spending $80 on dinner is like already that's too much for me, but you know, um, and then spending $80 on a parking ticket that could have been avoided if I just woke up earlier is so frustrating. But like at the end of the day, like is it worth sobbing like that over $80? No, like no. Um, so it definitely brought up like this sense of financial anxiety. Um, and it also brings up like this kind of like, just when you're hard on yourself and telling myself, I should have done this. This is my fault. Oh, I'm so stupid for leaving my car here. I'm so dumb. Like just being really hard on yourself. And like, anyways, I'm not like fully over it. Like I'm still really upset that all of that happened this morning. Um, but I am like, I have to move on from it. I don't want to stay there all day. So that is the realness of this morning. So the question for today's vlog is, have you ever gotten a parking ticket? And did it make you cry? Um, or a speeding ticket or anything like that? Let me know. Um, knock on wood, I've never gotten a speeding ticket or anything like that, just a couple of parking tickets. So next this morning I came back home um, and I'm like, I, this really helped turn the day around. I had a call with my personal trainer, Jill. So I've been using for the past two, three months, um, this online training program called Copilot. It's so good and Jill is just like, so it's like an online app personal training, but there's a real human on the other side of it. So we text each other constantly throughout the week um, and she builds my program for me and I let her know what my goals are. And um, the program started out great and it was going really well and I was really like seeing results and feeling good. Um, and then we noticed that I was kind of falling off of my workouts and being less consistent. And the reason for that was with Maggie's separation anxiety, I was not going to the gym. I didn't want to go to the gym. So we had our call today. I told her about the dog situation and she was like, no problem. We'll switch to home workouts. So I'll do a run outside and I'll do a home workout. And then I can continue her training um, without having to stress myself out about going to the gym. So she's just like so lovely to talk to for so many reasons but switching my workouts just gives me that like boost and that hope um that like i can still prioritize myself like while focusing on training maggie um so that's just like really good so the day is starting to move in a better position i made my chai tea and i'm just like Oh, but you guys know, like, you know, when you've been sobbing, like ugly crying, your head hurts so much after like, and my face, like everything just like doesn't feel great right now. So that's that. I'm sorry to start the video off on such a negative foot, but um, we will turn it around. What is up for the rest of the day is JS is watching Maggie today so that I can do a bunch of errands. So I'm going to take you guys downtown with me. We're going to go return some stuff. I got some stuff from Zara that I need to return. Um, my Apple watch is broken. Another thing like that made me cry was like, my watch is broken. My windshield's broken. Oh my God, I break everything. Like that was literally me in the car. Um, but we're going to go get my Apple watch fixed because I miss it. 
and um, we're just gonna go run some errands downtown. And the fun thing is I will not be touching my car. Like my car is gonna stay in the garage and like I'm not touching it. Also gas is really expensive. So I'm gonna take the city sharing bikes around and I just think that's gonna make for some really fun vlog content. So yeah, it's, what time is it? It's 10.45. Um, oh, and tonight we're having a girls' night with Louisa and Camilla. So honestly, there's so much to look forward to. We won't dwell on this anymore. Um, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna edit a video quickly before I leave the house, and then we're gonna head out and run errands and have a wonderful day together. So thank you for being here. Sorry for this very long intro. Let's officially get into the vlog and turn everything around. Happy Thursday. Lying here for too long I don't know what else to do I wanna get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter Nothing matters so I cry All right, it's time to head out. This is what I'm wearing today. This top is from Princess Polly. These shorts are from Garage, the same ones I was wearing yesterday, and just my little Reeboks that are very, very dirty. Same thing, ponytail. I'm into the ponytail now, maybe because my hair is getting a bit longer. So we're gonna head out and finally run those errands. Um, it's a bit later than I thought it would be when I left, but I got my video all done, so don't have to stress about that. Just need to make sure I make it back in time for my workout class tonight. And Maggie's not with me. Maggie's with JS today, um, which was really nice of him just to watch her so that I could like do all of my errands stress-free. I've really taken on a lot of stress with this separation anxiety thing. It's like unbelievably overwhelming amount of stress. I don't know. Anyway, can't talk about it. But uh, the errands. So I'm going to Zara. I'm going to return these two dresses. I did a huge Zara haul. I spent $800 and the, the goal was to spend a bunch of money, try everything on, and then just pick one thing um, for my friend Louise's wedding. And the only thing, like I, I liked a couple different things, but none of them were really wedding appropriate. The plan was to keep just this dress, but like with the parking ticket and everything this morning and like feeling stressed about money, um, I'm just better off like returning this dress. It was 60 bucks um, and I'll just buy it again if I miss it. So we're gonna return these things. I had already returned the rest of the stuff. These were like the two finalists and yeah, they're both going back. My Apple Watch is somewhere, yeah, here it is. So I dropped my Apple Watch on a tile floor and the screen is all cracked. So we're gonna go get that fixed. I really hope <laughs> it's not too expensive to fix it. So, And I'm using my tote bag from the Optimist Club. It matches, look at this. It matches my shirt like perfectly. So I'm just gonna bring everything in there. And I also brought a bottle of water to keep working on the hydration. So these are the bikes. The, the blue one there is electric and these are just regular. I'm just gonna take regular cause it's fine. Um, and you just like enter a code, you unlock it with your phone um, or you can pay like at the machine and they have these all over the city. So you just take one, you ride it and you put it down wherever you want in the city and it charges you like 15 cents a minute, something like that. It's really cheap. It's such a good way to get around in Montreal. So I'm gonna take this to downtown. It's literally the best way. It's gonna take me like 15, 20 minutes. It's like perfect. got home 
I'm exhausted. That was like a mission, biking there, biking back. It's 30 degrees outside, like it's full on summer and we're only mid-May, like this is very, very, very unusual for Montreal, but I can't complain, I love it. My rule with living in Canada is you can complain about the cold or the heat, but you can't complain about both. That's my rule for myself is like, if I'm gonna spend all winter complaining about how cold it is, I can't, I can't complain when it's hot. Um, and I think I like, I just love the heat. Like it's, it's a bit uncomfortable, but like I'll take it over being cold any day. Oh, so my outing was not super, well, it was, it was, it was mixed success. Um, let me just set you guys up so we can chat. Do we need the tripod? No, we're okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna do the tripod because this angle's like not flattering. So when I went downtown, my first stop was the Apple store and I was pretty convinced that I would be able to walk in, drop off my watch, pay. In my head, the max was 150 bucks and either go pick up my watch later today or tomorrow or sometime like in a couple days. Um, that's what I thought would happen. I go in, luckily I was able to get in right away and the guy's like, yep, no problem. This is how it works. Uh, we take the watch, we send it to the lab, they do a diagnostic, then they repair it and then they send it back to you. And when it, uh, when it goes to your place, that's when you're charged and it's $289 plus tax. Whew, I was like, ouch, okay. So anyways, you guys, I walked in there thinking I'd be able to get this thing repaired quite easily and it was ended up being super expensive, so I didn't do it. It's basically almost the cost of a new watch and if the watch breaks that easily, like why, like the guy was basically like, yeah, if you're not getting this covered by some sort of insurance, you may as well just buy a new watch. And I'm like, I've had this thing for two months. Like I'm not gonna buy a new one, this is insane. So. I walked out of the store and I was feeling super emotional because it just brought me back to what I was feeling this morning and like everything that happened this morning just like honestly like really upset me and like you know I didn't spend the whole day crying but I still just feel really upset about it and like I'm probably I feel like I'm gonna cry again but while I was walking around I was reflecting and it's like this financial anxiety that I have is such a burden like it's such a burden that I carry around with me like having this anxiety always feeling like any purchase is going to break me like that's what it comes down to is like at the end of the day if I want a new Apple watch if I really want it you can find a way to make it work like I have four hundred dollars in a savings account do I want to take it out of a savings account to pay for the watch no so it's no but like it's okay to not be able to afford stuff and it's okay like an $80 ticket, let's say, an $80 ticket is not going to kill me. It's not going to break me. It's not going to make me not be able to afford my apartment. Like it's okay, you know? Like I shouldn't be crying over a, something under $100. <sighs> I'm not explaining myself well. Basically, constantly feeling that something financial is going to like break you is a horrible feeling. Like I know, I, I, I don't know, it's, I don't know how to explain it. Like, and it's not about how much money you make or how much money you have. Like what I was thinking about while I was walking was like, if I had a hundred thousand dollars in my checking account right now, I would still, still find, find a way to somehow feel this anxiety. Like it's inside of me. I grew up with this feeling. Like I grew up, being told that like anything I wanted and if I want to take ballet classes and if I want to play soccer and any anything was a huge deal any like anything was a huge deal and so I grew up and I said this in one of my other videos like I came out of the womb with this financial anxiety and I just like I just can't seem to shake it and when at the end of the day, yeah, it really sucks that you broke your watch and someone threw a rock on your windshield and you got a parking ticket, like it sucks, but like it doesn't need to hit me as hard as it hits me. And so I'm just like upset that I'm carrying this around. And at this moment, like I don't know how to get rid of it. Like I'm just like, how do I get rid of this feeling? 
of this financial anxiety like why can't I have an abundance mindset and why can't I like just like I don't know feel fine I don't know so anyways um I was walking around just like feeling that and feeling really shitty um and it sucks and that's my day today and you know what maybe I'll wake up and I'm sure I will wake up feeling better tomorrow but today that's that um the rest of my outing was successful I returned my stuff to Zara no problem I also realized that I was like three days away from the return deadline so really glad I went um and I also got some weights from Decathlon these were super affordable which was amazing um <laughs> The other pair so these are uh three and a half pounds they, they do everything in kilograms there so it's 1.5 kilograms uh 3.3 pounds and ooh, i got big 10 pound ones because this is what jill recommended for the program so um, i'm happy about that that's like a win i'm glad i got to return my stuff and i'm just like i don't know i gotta i gotta find a way to shake this financial this financial anxiety so I have about a little under an hour um, before I need to head to the gym. I'm meeting my friend Louisa there. We're gonna do a workout together and then we're gonna hang out and watch the Selling Sunset reunion. Um, so that's gonna be fun. That's gonna like just take my mind off things, which is great. Um, until then, I uploaded a YouTube video, so I'm gonna sit down and answer some comments. And I also have like Q and A, um, to Q and A questions left to answer on Instagram. So I'm just gonna like chill out and do that. Get that's the kind of work wrap up for the afternoon. Yeah, just <laughs> I just feel like shit, honestly. Got this set on from Aerie. It's super cute and definitely just fits with the warm weather today. I'm starting to feel a lot better just like calming down and I'm so excited to go to the gym and see Louisa and we're gonna go get tacos after um, we decided for our Selling Sunset watch. Uh, let's go. Look at our food. So good. I got fish tacos and tortilla soup, and we got chips and guac to share. And can you explain what you got? I got choriqueso. So it's chorizo and cheese, so queso, and it's just like melted into this ooey gooey deliciousness. Wait. Oh, hold on. It's so yeah, gooey, oh my and then gosh. you just make your own little tortillas. It looks so good. And we're gonna watch the Selling Sunset reunion. I'm Team Heather. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm I love Team Heather. Heather for sure. I'm I love, eh, love. Don't like. Yeah. I <laughs> love. <laughs> you do it so well. I love love. No, I like Heather. Um, I'm I'm not a Christine, Christine fan. You guys should comment down below which, like who who's your favorite? I mean, you can't say Maya. No, that's that. That's, that's cheating. cheating. Yeah. I love Heather. Like, the show would be nothing without Christine, though. But they could do other things. They could no. They have to. And it would be nice things. if they would do. Like other I wonder things. if the next season, now that Christine like is out. Well, sorry, spoiler. If you haven't seen it, then that's your fault. But we don't know if she's out. We don't know. We if don't she's know out. for she sure. Is. She probably like she should be. What else are they going to talk about? No, I know. Maybe they'll she's actually the main character. talk about real estate. <laughs> okay, we're gonna eat this, and then maybe we'll we'll do a proper Louisa introduction after, and tell you our thoughts on the reunion. Good. You look really nice with your oh, thank you. orange it's, it's and your Lululemon. hair. I, I match Montreal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> I think everyone will know as soon as come here, Zoe. No. You don't have to match. No, ma'am. <laughs> but I need to I need to um, hold the camera in place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're in the presence of an actual star. Um, hey, Google. Okay, do you want to help me close the vlog? Sure, yes. But just quickly, um, we'll do like, we'll do three questions with Louisa so Ooh. you guys can get to know her. Yeah, so quick background is Louisa's my friend who's getting married. 
Which is crazy. In 55 days. In 55 days. Can I vlog the wedding? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh my God. Not that's the so, ceremony, that's but so exciting. the like party. The party? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Like getting ready and then the party. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, okay. So three questions. Okay. What's your favorite food? That's really hard. <laughs> that's a really hard question. My dad's a chef, so. It's true. <laughs> um, on cold days, I love ramen. Like, that's my go to. Mm. I love, love ramen. Yeah, ramen's good. On hot days, Oh, that was a really fucking hard. Oh, I don't know if you swear on you. Yeah, we can swear. It is a very difficult question. I love food. I literally plan my day revolving around what I'm going to eat. I'm the type of person who gets excited. Like I can't. I go to bed at night and I get too excited about breakfast in the morning that sometimes I can't sleep right because I'm excited. Like if I buy something new for breakfast. Um, but yeah. Okay. So let's go with ramen. Ramen. Okay. Pad thai, ramen. Like noodles in general. Pasta. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'm a noodly gal. <laughs> What is the best book you've ever read? Ooh, fiction or nonfiction? Fiction. Fiction, Where the Crawdads Sing. Oh, yeah. Stunning book. It's so I heard beautiful. it was boring. No, no, it's so beautiful. It, it is a bit slow-paced, but it is stunning because one of my favorite movies is um, um, Beasts of the Southern Wild, and it really reminded me of that. Mm. Nonfiction, though, um, I would say Educated by Tara Westover. Oh, yeah. So good. Or... Uh, Brain on Fire, my, mind, my Month of Madness is also an excellent one. And then there's another one, but the title is way too long. It's, uh, I'll pull it up and I'll send it to you later, but okay. it is really, really good. It's about like women in horror movies and how we paint them in like a patriarchal lens. And it's like, it's all about feminism and ah, women in the media. It's really, really good. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Favorite cafe in Montreal? Uh, Aroma in Oshalaga. Oh, where you got the sandwiches from? Yeah, nice. and, and your croissant. They have nice. the best, the best caramel latte. Um, get it with macadamia milk. But yeah, Aroma is really, really good. Their pastries are top notch. Um, but special shout out to September Cafe. Well. Yeah, September's good. September's, September's my favorite. My one of my best friends is the chef at Stem, and Stem is the same owner as September. And yeah, close ties. Close you heard ties. it here first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to do the outro? Be like, bye guys, thanks for watching Vlogwing Day 4. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, you guys, thank you for watching Vlog, vlog Day 4, Vlog Week Day 4. Um, give extra love to Zoe. We just, I think this is a good end. Did you forget yeah, about no, your bad day? Um, I did. Okay, good. I did forget good. about it, especially while watching Selling Sunset. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely turned the day around. It was hard. Like I tried multiple times throughout the day to turn it around, but we did it. You did it. We did it. We're going to yeah. go to bed on a good note yeah. and wake up feeling yeah. better. Yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>